everybody. I wanted to use another quick tip to touch on the new Simplify workspace. This time focusing on some of the incredible things it will do for you, note some differences that you might find if you don't have Fusion Ultimate, then compare solve times using this uber familiar engine bracket with some notable changes. Text, chamfers, and fillets on just about every face you can imagine. So let's get to it. Once in the Simplify workspace, we can use modeling tools you're familiar with when making your designs. Things like extrude, revolve, and sweeps, but we'll focus on what's found under Modify. The three found at the top of this list is where you'll probably spend most of your time and are a part of Ultimate. Remove features, the first, pack some real power. With this command enabled, all we need to do is select the body or bodies of interest. When I do, Fusion will start painting any and all of the features that will get wiped when you hit delete. Right now it's not much, but as I slide the filter to accept larger features, I'll be able to remove more and more. At some point it might go too far and we can back it off a bit. But further to the slider, we're provided with more options. Maybe you want to avoid removal of all the fillets, or the holes, or chamfers. Just select the toggles from below. But when you get it highlighted the way you want, delete away. Further to that, the Remove Faces command provides manual controls to get just the faces you want. And Replace with Primitives will do just like it sounds. Replace complex bodies with primitives to take their place. This works well for cylinders, boxes, and spheres. But let's back it up a bit. Another goal I had was to illustrate why you might want to do this. So let's clone the setup we have, another ultimate only feature, which will copy everything right down to the mesh. Then, with that Sim Model 2 activated, roll back the timeline to make it fully featured again. Now, we solve for both cases. We'll jump forward to where we've started comparing the results, and what I want you to note are the very minor differences between these two cases, starting with the max displacement. We're talking about a 2% difference between the simplified case on the left and the fully featured case on the right. Similarly, the max stress values are within about 7% of one another. But the real alarming thing is not how close these results are, it's how much faster the simplified case ran. These two comparisons, drawn from the solver data window, show that the CPU time was about six times longer for the unsimplified version. And understanding the reason for this is simple. When you compare element counts, we're talking about almost 38,000 elements versus 3,000. We hope you find using these simplification methods will be well worth the time invested in them. Cheers.